everybody knows about the Fahrenheit scale, but what starts at absolute zero? Not just zero degrees Fahrenheit, because if we take that same measurement and we go all the way back to absolute zero, the measurement is called Rankine. So instead of 50 degrees, we go all the way down to negative 460 plus 50, so we're actually 510 degrees Rankine. So let's take a gas, for example, and that gas has gotten heat put into it, so it's going to be a higher pressure. So instead of calculating it with Fahrenheit, you calculate it with Rankine because the pressure is not going to change as much as you would think. If we go from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit in a gas, you say, well, that's a huge jump. It's going to go up quite a bit in pressure. But it's not the case because we need to use Rankine, which is going to be 510 degrees to 560 degrees. So it's a much smaller percentage jump than you would think, and that's what corresponds with the change in pressure, that smaller percentage of Rankine difference as opposed to Fahrenheit difference.